Hey folks, I'm Frank from NNJ Classifieds, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the Super Nintendo Classic and Sega Genesis Mini that I'm selling on Craigslist. Because anytime I sell games on Craigslist, people always ask, does it work? Can I try it out? Well, no, I, I can't bring this to your house for you to try it out, and I'm certainly not letting you come into my house, so I make a demonstration so you can see everything in advance. So just like my previous gaming videos, I'm gonna do this one in three steps. First, I'm gonna open up the box to show you what's inside and any accessories that it comes with, such as these controller extension cables. Then, I'm gonna hook it up to my TV and try out some games so you can see that they work. And last step, I'm gonna go online to Amazon or eBay to see what the value of these are, because you can't find them in stores anymore. And yes, I did buy both of them from a store, and I still have receipts. Here are the receipts for the SNES Mini and two controller cables, and the Genesis Mini and one USB extension cable. I'll start off with the Super Nintendo since that's the first one I bought. I got this the day it came out, September 29th, 2017. So this unit is less than three years old, still in good shape, even the box is in good condition. And on the back of the box it shows you what games it comes with. So these are pre-installed on the internal memory so you can't install more games or use cartridges. This is all that it comes with. It's 21 games, it's got a good variety. So let's see what's inside. Still got the original packing, looks nice and neat. Here's the console, looks just like the original SNES, only a lot smaller. Here's your connections in the back for HDMI and power. Non-functional slot in the top, so you, you can't install cartridges, it's basically just there for show to look like the original. Um, it resembles the controller ports from the original, but it actually has these kind of connections which are similar to the Wii U and controllers are included. Get a lot of wires. Here's the uh, USB to mini USB for power and the block to plug it into an outlet. HDMI cable and two controllers. Six buttons, two shoulder buttons, four face buttons and the D-pad start and select. Now these cables are 56 inches long which is about four and a half feet but if that's not long enough don't worry about it because I have included in this bundle some extension cables and these are six feet so once you plug these in you'll have ten and a half feet of length and I even have a receipt for the extension cables I bought them in October 2017 and they were ten dollars each so now we can hook it up to the TV the SNES Mini has 21 preloaded games, starting alphabetically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 games. So I'll test out Donkey Kong Country since that's one of my favorites. Game over? Huh. Wow, that was a quick game. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I'll hop up here to get an extra life, because I need a life. And since this is a two-player game, you can throw your friends around. Literally. Yeah, I know I missed two balloons up there. I'm just kind of blowing through this level real quick since it's just a demo. Wow, those helmets are super effective. And now you're playing with power! <laughs> Yay, it's over! We're done! Woo! Oh wait, there's more? Ah, oh, this video is gonna take forever. 
I'll just go back to main menu. Now here's a nice feature that both the SNES and the Genesis have. It's called suspend points. It's kind of like a save point, but better because you don't have to redo the entire level. And here are some options to change the screen ratio, the background color, and the language. And there's also an option to view the game manuals online. But since we're done here, I'm going to do a factory reset to wipe all my save data. And after it finishes resetting the console, it asks you to select the language, and it brings you back to the main menu. So uh, that's the demo for the SNES. Hope I covered everything. Uh, next up, I'm going to go online and uh, see how much this thing is worth. The price on eBay is $117, plus tax, plus shipping, and that's just for the console by itself. Remember, my bundle includes two controller extension cables, which were $10 each, and yet my price is still cheaper than eBay. Next up is the Sega Genesis Mini. I bought this exactly three months ago, April 27th, 2020. I got this because it has twice as many games as the SNES, 42 games total, so there's quite a lot of variety on here. And I like the packaging, very retro with the grid background and the bright cyan and magenta colors. And here's a quick summary of everything that comes in the box, although I'm just going to open it and show you. <laughs> now make sure to be careful when you open the Sega because Everything is packed in here kind of tight and uh, these tabs interlock, so just be careful when opening it. Also, some of the stuff is hidden, like underneath this flap, they put the power brick, which is kind of a weird spot for it. This is the uh, plug for the electrical outlet and the USB. And here's the unit itself on the left. Here it is in all its miniature glory. Now, it does look very much like the original and uh, unfortunately these buttons over here are not functional like the volume but it's nice that they added that as a as a nice decorative touch this button is functional though the on and off and there is a slide in here where the cartridges would go and it does open but you can't put cartridges in there i left the plastic on just because i, I didn't know how long i was going to be holding on to this uh, another feature that i like is it uses usb as opposed to nintendo which has their own proprietary cables so it means you could use any USB extension cable, which I bought just to make the uh, controller cords longer. And on the back, we have the same as the Super Nintendo, HDMI for video and audio, and micro USB for the power. Also in the box, you get some instruction manuals and some reading stuff. HDMI cable, which I never used because I already have an HDMI cable for my TV. Also, power cord, which has USB on one side and micro USB on the other. So that's your power cable. And two controllers. Now these controllers are a bit bigger and bulkier than the Super Nintendo, but this was, remember back in the day, this was a, a future jump ahead of the NES, which only had two buttons. This has three. And the D-pad has diagonals. So next up, we can hook it up to the TV and try it out. The Genesis Mini comes preloaded with 41 games, which is twice as many as the SNES. Uh, I'm scrolling through here pretty quickly, so I, I can't talk that fast and count them out for you, but trust me, th there's 41 in there. And also, unlike the SNES, you can rearrange the order to be vertical so you can see all the games at once. And for the demo, I'll pick Sonic the Hedgehog since he's the mascot for Sega. SEGA! <clears throat> Sorry. Another advantage the Genesis has over the SNES is you can exit a game by holding the start button down for 4 seconds. But with the SNES, you have to get up and walk over and press the reset button on the console, which is a hassle. So the Genesis is more convenient, but then you have to listen to that annoying buzzer sound. Eh. 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 
Yeah, it gets on your nerves. But uh, it does have the other similar options, such as changing the uh, screen aspect ratio, changing the wallpaper, the background, changing the language. So that's something they both have in common. But uh, I'm done with that, so now I'm going to reset to the factory settings. And now the memory's been wiped, it goes back to the main menu, and this thing is ready for you to play. But next, we gotta go online to see how much this bundle is worth. And once again, eBay is more expensive, plus shipping, plus sales tax, and doesn't come with any accessories. Mine comes with one USB extension cable, and yet my price is still cheaper. Okay folks, so now you've seen a demonstration of both consoles, you saw that they work, you know how much they're worth. Now we get to the tricky part, how do we meet up so you could buy them? Being that these systems are kind of rare and valuable, I prefer we meet in the lobby of a bank or police station so that there's cameras and witnesses. Go ahead and call me crazy, I don't care, but I recently had a very scary encounter with a person on Craigslist and I don't want to take any chances. Specifically, I was selling this book, um, The Hobbit, it's a 1965 version which has these animals on the cover so it makes it rare and valuable. And the person that called me wanted this book so bad that he threatened to break into my house at night and kill me. I'm not making this up. In fact, I still have the recording of the voicemail, and I'll let you listen to it. Listen. Press 1. Send. Press 2. Quick. First saved message. Okay, how's it going? I just want to pick up the Hobbit, the Hobbit uh, book that you have that's misprinted. Yeah, I, I kind of really need it now. And um, I just like, I'll, 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 if you answer right now, I'll pay you double, honestly. I want it right now. This is your mother. I'm coming to get that book right now. If you don't answer the phone, I'll break into your house. I have a Glock 22. I will blast your face open for that book. I'm on my your house. Give me, give me the book. Give me the book for double the price. Or like, we're gonna have a problem. End this message. Delete. Press seven. Save. Press nine. More options. Press zero. Sent today at 1.38 a.m. Saved message from 8.45. 56 seconds. Delete. Press 7. Save. Press 9. Opt. Resave. End of messages. Listen. So now you understand why I'm taking these precautions. We meet in the bank or the police station during the day. Well, we'd have to because I work at night. I leave for work at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so I'm really only available in the morning. Now, if you work 9 to 5, and let's say you get your lunch break at 12 o'clock, well, then we can meet at 12 noon at the bank or the police station. Those are my terms. If you don't like it, oh well. Don't buy it from me. Buy it from someone else. Try eBay. But keep in mind, eBay is more expensive for just the console, and they're not going to give you the accessories like these extension cables. So my price is cheaper. I gave a demonstration to show that it works. And you know I have a good reputation because I've been selling things on Craigslist for the past four years. Just look at my previous videos. Um, because of this wonderful virus that's been going around, the hours at my job got cut and I can't afford an apartment anymore, which is about $12.50 a month. So I'm going to look for a room for rent for $800 a month. The catch is I'd be renting a room in a person's house and I'd have to take turns using the kitchen and bathroom with the other tenants and I'm not going to have any privacy. So I'm not going to want a TV or any valuables. So over the past couple months, I've sold all my other game consoles, the Xbox One, the Wii U, even my GameCube and uh, just got rid of my DVDs. So the eventual goal is to not have a TV. That way it's one less thing I have to worry about. So these are the last two game systems I have left. So uh, if you agree with the terms and conditions, you can call, text, or email. Although a phone call would be better. That way I could speak to you on the phone. And also because, um, well, I have a really old flip phone and texting on this thing is a real chore. So uh, that's the scoop with my antique phone. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, got some information out of it and uh, hope to hear from you soon. Thanks for watching.